This problem requires us to find the electric field inside a long non-conducting cylindrical rod as well as find the voltage between two points in that electric field. So first we'll draw this long cylindrical rod. Assume it's infinitely long. And the radius of the rod is 5 centimeters. Now in order to calculate the electric field inside this rod, we need to use Gauss's law. So our Gaussian surface will choose to be a cylinder inside the rod. The length of our Gaussian cylinder will be L and the radius will be small r. So using Gauss's law, we have that the electric field is equal to Q in over A epsilon naught where Q in is the amount of charge inside that Gaussian cylinder. Now we can see that we've given, we're given charge density and by the units, 50 nanocoulombs per meter cubed, we can see that that's a rho, so that's a volume charge density, 50 nanocoulombs per cubic meter, which means in order to get the charge inside that cylinder, we're going to use the volume charge density times the volume of that red cylinder over A epsilon naught. Now the volume of the cylinder is pi r squared L. The area that we use in the Gaussian equation is the surface area, the round surface area of that Gaussian surface through which the electric field lines pierce. And so that is pi 2 pi r L. And that's the surface area of the Gaussian cylinder over epsilon naught. So we see the, the electric field inside a non-conducting cylinder is given by rho r over 2 epsilon naught. All right, now once we have the electric field, we see that it is not a uniform electric field. So if we want to calculate the difference in voltage between any two points, the equation that we use is the integral of the electric field r component times dr. And we would want to go between points A and B. Okay, substituting in for this electric field, which is a function of r, we'd have rho r over 2 epsilon naught dr. Uh, rho is uniform, so that can come out of the integral. And we have negative rho over 2 epsilon naught, the integral of r dr. From point A to point B, point A is 0 0.02 meters, point B is 0 0.04 meters. So substituting this in, we have the change in voltage, voltage at B minus the voltage at A would be negative rho over 2 epsilon naught times r squared over 2 evaluated between 0 0.02 and 0 0.04. So it's minus rho over 2 epsilon naught times a half of 0 0.04 squared minus 0 0.02 squared. And substituting all the numbers into that expression, we find that the change in voltage is negative 1.7 volts. Now the magnitude of that would be positive 1.7, but it makes sense that that difference in voltage is negative because we're going in the direction of the electric field and voltage decreases in the direction of the electric field.